If you're teaching Read 180 or System 44, at some point you're going to need to find the anchor video that preview, previews each workshop or module. So I'm going to give you a brief video tutorial on how to find those in case you ever need it again. First thing that you need to do is log into HMH Central. And then you need to go into the HMH Teacher Central. One thing to keep in mind here is that students will not be able to find these videos on their own. When you play them, you're going to have to share them through screen sharing, which means if you're using Zoom, when you go to screen share, there will be two checkboxes at the bottom of the screen sharing tab. One is to optimize your video for streaming. The other is to make sure that you're sharing computer audio. You're going to want to do both. Okay. And then when you're done, stop screen sharing and reset it if you need to continue sharing. That way, the optimization goes back to where it should be. And also, you're not sharing your computer audio so that things like email chimes or notification chimes don't deafen the students. So from HMH Central, you're going to want to go into the Digital Teachers Edition. Where's my little mouse guy? All right. This is not showing up to play today. And this will give us all of the different workshops that we have access to. For 7th grade, we are starting in the Getting Started section. For 8th grade, we are starting in Life and Dystopia. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what to do in Getting Started first, just because there's more of those kids. So you go to Open. And this is a summary layout of all of the lessons that are in the Getting Started unit that precede Workshop 1. So you don't need to do a video first. It actually turns out to be the fourth lesson. And you can see it's labeled anchor video. So we'll click on that and it'll load the relevant pages for students. So you can look at the lesson view. It'll share their flow of the lesson. However, I find that sometimes that doesn't match our schedule very well. So I tend to just move it the students flow. You can see the objectives and what's most important for now, you can see the heads up. The heads up gives a summary it also tells you what kinds of background knowledge kids might need to have, important routines and procedures, and most importantly, this is the access to the anchor video. So if you click on play the video, it'll load this. Looks kind of like a YouTube tab. Students are going to be able to see this if you're sharing your screen. And again, that's why it's important to share your screen with optimization for streaming video turned on. I'm not sure how to do that in big blue button in zoom when you load screen sharing tab it's at the bottom of that tab that pops up and you just play it and it'll go through this video keep in mind that they're all about four to five minutes long so with only 30 minutes in our period you're going to have to plan around that taking a while but at least students don't have to navigate to this you can just screen share with them and hopefully save some time so just to show you one more time if we go back to our table of contents and pick workshop one, which we'll all be at in a couple weeks, I hope, you'll find the anchor video is up there at the top. It'll load up workshop one. You go to heads up and there is our video under materials. So for planning purposes too, it tells you the relevant pages. I find that's helpful. And it gives us video vocabulary that we should be pre-teaching. Also extremely helpful. So there you go. Now you know how to find the anchor video. Um, I know there's a lot of steps involved. So if at any point you need help, just let me know.